How's it going, Josh? How's Just going? Uh, how has this season been for you? I mean, obviously the production's probably not what you want, but how are you taking that? Has it been a frustrating year for you so far? Um, you know, it's definitely been a little frustrating. Um, just, I guess it's me coming off the season I had last year. You know, I was, I guess, hoping and I wouldn't say assuming, but, you know, I was, I guess, thinking that this year was just going to be, I guess, a climb. But I'm not saying it, it, it hasn't. Um, you know, I've been finding other things to work on, whether it's blocking, playing without the ball, um, you know, all the little tweaks and things that I need to work on. Um, but, you know, it's, it's definitely been a little frustrating, but, you know, I see it as it ain't going to do them but get me ready. Um, you know, hopefully, God willing, I make it to the next level. Um, I might not be that number one guy um, I, um, as soon as I get there. So, you know, it's it's been it's been going. Um, I'm just taking it as a, a good thing and not a negative thing and just keep staying ready for when my number gets called. Josh, you seem like one of the guys on the team that's pretty involved in the community. I've seen you speak at a lot of events and stuff like that. Just it's homecoming week. Just what does this kind of this area mean to you? Oh, shoot. Five years here, man. This um seemed like yesterday I was rolling in um in six fifty and um unpacking all my things from home. Um but it it's been nothing um but the best since I've been here in South Carolina for the past five years and um it's homecoming. It's nothing like being in Columbia, South Carolina. Um you guys just seen it last Saturday, man. It was rocking. So expect it to be not even better um than it was last season. Um, um last last week, sorry. Um, but, you know, it, it means everything to me to be able to play here and sp spend my career here. And, um, you know, I'm just taking it all at one time. It, aside from the individual stuff, I guess you're probably pretty fired up about being 5-2, and two, top 25 in the country as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I really don't, you know, I really don't pay attention to it. I mean, it's, it's nice to be in the top 25, uh, but, you know, I, we can't get complacent. And um, just, hey, we in the top 25, and next thing you know, we're not in it. So, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You just got to keep your head down. Um, it's good that, you know, everybody sleeps on us and talks bad about, you know, South Carolina, that we don't have the players, we don't have the coaches. Uh, we can't do this. We can't compete with anybody. But now we know. Now everybody know that, you know, we can go out there and play ball. Um, it's football we've been playing ever since we was kids. And, um, you know, it, it's great to have the recognition. But at the end of the day, we got Mizzou this week, and that's the focus. And individually, last couple of games, it seems like you have been more involved, catching more passes and third downs. Yeah. How nice is it to, to make a big play on third down and keep the chains going? You know, as, as a receiver, that's always good. Um, for me, myself, it's, it's always good to, you know, feel like I'm contributing um, to the offense. Um, you know, everybody likes the ball in his hands, um, but there's only one ball to get passed around. Um, but, you know, it, at the end of the day, it goes back to my coaches and, and Spence trusting me on third down. And you know, being able to get me to rock. So whenever it comes my way, just got to go out there and make the play. Hey, Josh. Um, we've seen your targets go up a bit the last couple of weeks. What do you feel like has changed in just kind of the offense? Is that just guys rotating through, or you know, has the connection between you and Spencer maybe improved or something like that? Um, me and Spence, you know, we we talk. We have our little communication moments, and um, you know, me just telling him, hey, just trust me, and um, you know, whenever it's like you said, whenever my numbers get called, it's mostly, I would say, it's mostly just being, you know, progression through, progression through the play, and you know, I just end up popping open. Um, but you know, uh, I, I guess that one play on the sideline, he looked at me, I looked at him, and he let me go to work, and you know, he threw me the ball, and I was just, like I said, able to go make the play when the ball came my way. Um, but you know, like I said, for me, it, it's good to, I guess, see the targets. Um, going up more, but like I said, you know, I just can't get complacent and, you know, getting a big head like, um, you know, somebody told me um, when the time come, I got to be ready for the play and not it be ready for me. So I'm just always just staying humble and just keep on thanking God for all the opportunities that come my way. Yeah, I think your two catches on Saturday were third downs and both of them were explosive plays. Just is, what's the difference? Is there a difference between being a good third down receiver and what are some of the traits that receiver has to have to be good at? making plays on third downs? Um, you know, I always just have the mindset of, you know, just keeping the offense high on the field, um, not coming off. You know, it's, it's kind of demoralizing, you know, when we have a good run and um, next, you know, third down come and we come off the field or when the defense just comes off and we just go on and then next, you know, it's third down and we got to go back off the field. Um, so, you know, I wouldn't say I pride myself as, you know, kind of being a big third down on receiver, but 
you know, I love third downs because, you know, that's when that was kind of like the big plays when you want to get, you know, the ball to your, your playmakers and, you know, let them go to work. Um, so, like I said, you know, it's really just been going through the plays and spent trusting us, trusting me last game um, to be able to, you know, go out there and make it happen. So, you know, I really just say just for a receiver to be, I guess, big on third down, they just got to just got to get open. Um, that's that's really what's, what it's all about. Josh, you mentioned some of those little things and, and picking up things where you can. I, I guess on punt return, I think your punt return yard average is up like four, five, six yards from last year. I guess what are you maybe seeing in that side of the, your game, and, and how do you feel like you've maybe improved there? And I, I guess what's kind of gone into that, if anything? Um, to be honest, I, I just I just told myself, you know, just trust myself. And I, I tell myself before your game, just go return all of them. Um, I know last year I, I kind of fair catch them a, a lot, um, which goes back into – I was playing a lot, um, you know, going right back on offense at receiver. So, you know, now I've taken that that role a little back. So, you know, I just – at punt return, that's another chance to get the ball in my hands. So, I just want to make something happen. Um, if I see the look, you know, like I said, like you said, it's gone up since last year. So, I really just try to be hungry and just try to return all the ones I can get. Um, but believe it or not, I will fair catch it um, if the look doesn't look good. Um, but, you know, it's just another chance for the ball to get in my hand and just trying to make something good for the team, give us a good field position. And um, I think Coach discussed it earlier. I think we're third in punt return in SEC. So, you know, that, that comes from my teammates um, giving me good looks. And, you know, the rest is what I can do with the ball in my hand. Early on in the season, Coach Beamer wasn't happy with the perimeter blocking, said it was affecting the run game. How, how did he uh, convey that message to you guys? What did y'all do to improve it? And how much uh, praise internally have you guys gotten for uh, the run, run game getting going more so the last few weeks? Um, perimeter blocking is, is a, it's a big thing um, because, you know, with the backs that we have, they can bounce it out. Um, it, it's not always going to go inside. It can bounce out. Um, design runs to go outside. Like I said, every Tuesday we do perimeter drill. And like I said, some days it might be a little cold out there, but you know you got to buckle up. You know, sometimes your hand may hurt, um, and and the guys. But you know, it, it's a it's a big part of the offense. Like I said, it can be a run, it can be a pass on the perimeter, which is another thing to the run. Um, but I wouldn't say it's been a lot of praise. You know, the coaches tell us, hey, we did a good job. Um, always need to improve on perimeter blocking, but it's hard just because you know the rules change. You can't cut block. You know, you just got to stay square, you know, not try to hold. You got to let go at the right time. Um, but, you know, we, we pride ourselves in the receiver room as, you know, when the ball come our way, go make the play. Or when it comes our way, not literally, when the ball is coming out behind us, we got to um, gotta still make the play for the running back, whoever has the ball behind us. So, you know, it's just really just keeping our head down and just doing what we got to do on the outside. Um, this secondary has kind of grown a lot this year. Some freshmen have come in there. What's it like going against those guys every day in practice? And what's the biggest growth you've seen from some of the younger kind of, I guess, corners and safeties? Um, you know, for the most part, you know, when you're on the team, man, I, I wouldn't say, you know, not down talking on other guys that we go up against, but you go against your best competition in practice. And, um, you know, just seeing the growth of the young guys, our freshmen, going against those guys every day, day in and day out, um, you know, it's a lot. So, you know, it's just, you just really, I don't know, man. It's, you go against the same guys every day. You know, some days they may win, some days we may win. Um, so it's just just grinding out. And by the time you get to game day, everything is a lot smoother. Um, it'll be some things that we haven't seen that Mizzou defense will show us. Um, but we just got to adjust on the fly and go make it happen. Gosh, I know when you. <laughs> um, I know when you made the decision to, to come back to USC this year, you had talked a lot about that being the best thing for your daughter. Just kind of, I know she's coming up on a year now. Like, what has it been like for you during this season, you know, juggling that aspect of your personal life with the, the season? Um, it's, it's been tough, um, you know, dealing with football, going home, being a dad. Uh, well, I'm always a dad. But, you know, coming here to play football, dad life and then going to school it's it's a lot to juggle um but you know I'm the man in the house I got to get it done um so you know I just want to set a good standard for her um to know that I got her back um for this team that I got their back whatever they need me to do 
Um, like I said, it ain't been, I guess, what we all expected for me to come into this year. But at the same at the same time, just got to go out there and do what I got to do. And um, you know, it's been it's some it's some tough days at home. Um, I think like last week, she just got over a cold. Um, so you know, that's been tough. Waking up at four o'clock in the morning to make a bottle. She just got off formula. So, you know, now we on almond milk, but we don't have a bottle warmer, so we got to put the milk in the microwave, uh, make sure it's not too hot, got to put a finger in there. It, it, it's a lot, I'm telling you, it, it is a lot. Um, I was going to get her um, and bring her here, but he said coach was going at 1.30, so I feel like I had enough time. But, you know, I'm just taking it day by day and um, thanking God for the opportunity that she's here. Um, like I said, she'll be 11 months on the 7th of November, um, which is like coming up right around the corner. So seeing her grow, it's, um, it's been an experience. So, you know, no, that's about it. Darius in the post-game press conference on Saturday was advertising completely cocky. I didn't know if you wanted to give a pitch for the pod as well. Just tune in. Um, <laughs> tune in. It's, uh, it's pretty fun. Um, like I said, you know, it's my first time having a podcast. Uh, Thanks for the opportunity with Completely Cocky. Um, like I said, we just tune in every week. You know, we discuss about, you know, the upcoming team, what we did um, previous week, how we felt after the game. It's a lot of bloopers in there. Trust me, when we go over the ads, man, it, it's, it, we've taking like 30 tries just to, you know, make it right. Um, but, you know, that's the whole thing about it, you know, having a good time. It's not really just straight about football. Like you said, we discuss life and how we do outside of here, it's, it's good. It's, you know, it's just a, a good perspective of a college athlete other than football. Um, but tune in, completely cocky, Spotify, Apple, YouTube. Look it up. <laughs> hey, Josh. Uh, first of all, fatherhood is going to get a lot more rewarding as the years go on. you got Thank a lot you. to look forward to. That's Thank great. You. Um, you know, whenever you get a good return, Xavier Leggett, Brings a kick back for a touchdown. Fans are all screaming about Beamer Ball and, and this and that. How much pride do you guys take in that legacy and the fact that you are doing so well on special teams this year? Oh, we take it. We take it very. Go ask Pete Limbo. Uh, I, I promise you, he take it very serious. Um, um, so you know, it's it's good to, I guess, have all three phases three phases as dominant as we've been on this. This little stretch that we was on, that we're on right now, um, but like you said, we, we pride ourselves on it hard. Like you know, Zay had the 100 yard kick return. You know, I'm I'll be telling punt return, uh, punt defense. I'm like, man, y'all stop blocking the kick, so I can try to get one. Um, <laughs> so it, you know, it, and when I do get one, somebody miss a block, and I'm like, man, if you could just just hold on for a little bit, man, I can. Like I said, I did get one, but unfortunately, it got called back. Um, so you know, it's. We pride ourselves very hard on it. Um, you know, I said we go over it every day, um, trying to execute. Like I said, Coach Limbo, man, he literally has like real plays, like for offense. He has real plays on special teams. Um, so you know, I'm pretty sure many special teams they just have a couple calls. Coach Limbo has a whole list of things that we can do on special teams. Um, but like I said, it ain't gonna, it's not going to do anything but get us ready for the next level. Um, like he says. I may go to the next level, and I may be on special teams for my for my whole career. Um, so having this staff here, being so hard on special teams, you know, it, it's a wonderful thing. So can't take it lightly. Thank you. Appreciate y'all.